This is a simple exercise that I developed to help students familiarize themselves and get used to making questions and sentences. On the far right here, there are 50 examples of a question in the present tense. All of these include patterns that we learned in the lesson. So there are six or seven patterns in a lesson. So I randomly just made questions in the present tense. On the far left-hand side is a quadrant where you'll find at the top the questions in the positive and the negative, in the present, the past, and the future. There are six possibilities. With the sentences, you either have the positive or the negative sentence, in the present, the past, and the future. So altogether, you have 12 segments which they have to complete. So do you want to go? So for example, the student would then run through the exercise. Number one is, do you want to go? Did you want to go? Will you want to go? The negative question, don't you want to go? Didn't you want to go? Won't you want to go? With the sentence, number seven, you want to go? You wanted to go? You will want to go. Number nine, 10 is you don't want to go, you didn't want to go, you won't want to go. So there's basically 12 sections that they have to complete. As you see here, I've changed the subject of the question. For example, the second one is, does he like? In the present tense, there is a change in the question that they have to become accustomed to. So does he like studying would happen like this. Does he like studying is number one. Did he like studying? Will he like studying? Here's the change too. Doesn't he like studying? Didn't he like studying? Won't he like studying? In the bottom, he likes studying, they have to put the S because it's the third person. He liked studying, he will like studying, he doesn't like studying, he didn't like studying, he won't like studying. So this basic drill will help them not only to familiarize themselves with the pattern, but get them used to the question making process and the sentences. The more they do this, the more they will feel confident in how they speak and that they're not making mistakes. As we go on, uh, as you see here, this is the first hour. In the second hour, in the third, and the fourth hour, I will have an hour one to three. So I'll combine the patterns randomly here of the first three hours that we did. Uh, this you will find in every hour of the student guide for about the first uh, eight lessons to help them become familiar with it. Uh, this particular PDF can be printed off on the website. Thank you.